Hello everyone. In this short little video, I want to show you a preview of my new workflow add-on and what it does to really help you improve your workflow and uh, speed up your uh, retouching along with, along with giving you a very consistent result. So this is the way I teach uh, and how I really prefer people to do retouching. And this is not only for beauty, it's for everything really. Um, but the main thing is I have a folder set up and this is something you can customize if you want it in a different way. It's just an action. And one cool thing about the new uh, toolkit is that even actions that are called from the toolkit only leave one history state. So as you can see, it just said action, it ran action, folder setup. And then all the other tools uh, work as expected. Uh, the only thing that's really new for a lot of people is the selective saturation, uh, which is a way to work with saturation in the same way you would do with the dodge and burn. And I think it's going to be a really easy transition for people to uh, fix a lot of the issues that come up with dodge and burn. Um, if you've been following along in the researching toolkit user group, then you also know that I've improved on dodge and burn quite a bit uh, over the old tried and true techniques. Um, I'm not going to go into detail, but if you're interested, you can go and watch that video. And uh, so what my new workflow does is it places things where they belong. That's basically the short version. So if I press um, anywhere in the document and I press healing with help, it will go into the healing folders. I pressed it twice, so I got two, but okay. Um, and then I figured, like, while this old eye help is really good, it's a little bit of a hassle to go up here and toggle on and off. And I know a lot of people don't really know when to use what and how to use them. So what the new workflow does is it creates, uh, if you want it, there's two buttons. Uh, it creates a help folder. I will help you with the healing. And the default version is uh, something like this. This is a compressed image that's already been retouched, uh, but I just wanted to have something to show you. So another help layer for, for healing and cloning is the solar curve, which I use a lot, especially on hair and uh, against backgrounds and difficult to see areas. Uh, but the main thing is it kind of forces you into a good habit of healing first, which I think you should always do. There are exceptions, of course. So the thing is, if you just use the regular left click on healing here, you just create more healing layers. But if you, for some reason, want to have it up here, you can right click and it will place it where you are currently as like the old toolkit or uh, any action or whatever you do. So even if you wanted a new healing group, you can right click on healing with help and you get another healing group up here. So um, I like this a lot personally and it's going to speed up my retouching quite significantly. And the same thing goes for dodge and burn. So if I'm in the healing right here and I decide I want to start with dodge and burn and I do the dodge and burn with help, it goes into the dodge and burn folders. And if I want another dodge, places it at the top. Another burn places it at the top. If I'm up here and I want to dodge, still places it at the top. So um, the best way to do any retouch is to build up from the um, bottom up. So, and even here, if I since I pressed with help, 
I have help players, so the default one is just turning on the luminosity. But you can also, something that I, that I do a lot is that because the eye is not very good at uh, highlights, so the highlights on the nose here is quite hard to see. So I turn on negative when I use the uh, burn. And then I just do the opposite as you would in a regular dodge. So it also helps your eye not to get fatigued by your image. It's really easy to get blind. But the main thing is uh, and I want, that I wanted to show you is that it puts the stuff where it should be. Uh, but it allows you to do whatever you want if you right click. So if I want another dodge and burn up here again, like I showed it before, same thing. Uh, left clicking on saturate and desaturate, we'll pl place it in the selective saturation. Same thing here. Let me turn off the help players for the dodge and burn. Uh, the help players for this new way of working with saturation is a saturation and then it turns on the off the colors you can see the colors if you want to but so then you can see where the color uh, saturation issues are and you can correct them this is not something that i recommend that you have on the whole time when you're working here because uh, you need to like flip it on and off to really see where the inconsistencies are but most of the time when you're working with dodge and burn uh, even this new version that I have that is uh, way more accurate uh, than any old and tried and true techniques. It uh, simulates how exposure works in a much better way. If you're familiar with the raw conversions in Capture One and in Lightroom, this one is more uh, similar to the Capture One one uh, because that's the one I really like myself. And it's... Um, it's exactly one stop. So um, I invert the mask. This is how it looks. Um, there's another video on that if you want to dive in to that. Um, yes, I think that's all I wanted to show you today. Um, maybe one more thing. So the New workflow also doesn't like if you nest because that's something that also causes a lot of trouble because people will uh, sometimes put um, their dodge inside of a group, inside of a group, inside of a group, or like so. If I press dodge and burn here now. Uh, and I will right click, otherwise it will end up in the other folder. So I right click here, it will place it at the root. So yes, that's it. I hope you like it. There will be more information about what the actual stuff does really soon, because we're nearing completion and the beta testing has gone really well. So uh, thank you for watching, see you soon.